Hello and welcome everybody. I am your host, Zamora Gaming, and I am also here with my co-host, uh, Morgan Oko Gaming, with our second episode of the Pokemon Shield playthrough. And we're going to go ahead and get started now! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Um, I'm a little bit ahead of Morgan right now, so he has a little bit of catch-up to do because he didn't have his uh, text speed all the way up. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on. So I'm losing right off the bat. My then, guys are also in the level. A little bit, a little bit. And then we have uh, Marnie here, dressed up like the goth girl she is. Uh, I'm going to explain the rules real quick for, for my channel real, again because the last video my girlfriend walked in when that was happening and told <laughs> me I bad out and she scared me because I could see the rage in her eyes. So what is happening is we are we started with a team we bred ourselves. Um, we leveled them up to 10, gave them moves, and we are going to play a Nuzlocke. Um, basic Nuzlocke rules, but after each gym we're going to battle each other with the team that we have. So uh, it's kind of a race. Um, I don't know. I think we should work out some kind of point system, like iron out some kind of, I don't know, a certain amount of points for each battle we win or something like that. Uh, we could do uh, like one point for get to the gym first and beating it, and then the differential points for the end of the battle. Yeah, you're good with stuff like that if you want to figure something out like that out. I mean, that'd be the simplest one. That'd be a simplest yeah, way to I'm, do it. I'm down to do that. That'd be fine with me. And then you lose that a point way. for every faint you get. That counts towards your Pokemon score. That's a great idea. Let's do that. It, well, it can also be like, <clears throat> I don't know. If, if you if you make it before I do to the first gym, like each gym could be a checkpoint. You get extra points if you make it there first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get to that the way gym. Like, you beat the gym first, you get a point. Yeah, that'll work. And then... Uh, that way. Once both trainers battle after the gym has been beaten by both, the differential points would be given to the, the winner. That way, if you do stop and grind, it's not necessarily like you're being punished for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That might make sense. And then if your Pokemon loses a life, be it in-game or after your opponent chooses which Pokemon loses a life after the gym challenge then that'll be a negative point to your score. Okay, I'm down with that. All right, perfect. Y'all just watch that live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Improv all the way, baby. All right, now Mr. Rose and his uh, kinky assistant will introduce us to the stage or the field. I'm talking to the, uh, in front of that knight statue right now. You're not too far behind. Yeah, I'm catching up now. Doing a little quicker. Fighting Team Yellow. Uh, what number did you pick? 34 always. That was always my number in football and baseball, basketball. Uh, I'm a little opposite of you. I'm 43. Yeah, I think we've <laughs> talked about that before, actually. Yeah. Uh, Originally, my childhood story that my dad likes to bring up is... Uh, I was supposed to be 34, and he got me those cleats that you can put your number in. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And then uh, when I went up to go up and choose my number, and they were like, what number do you want to be? I'm 10. I looked down, and I'm like, 43? <laughs> <laughs> and Is they're that like, true? Is that true story? Yeah, it's a true story. And they're like, uh, you have any reason why you want to be 43? I was like, that's what my shoe says. So. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we call that a happy accident. And that's been my number ever since. That is so fucking funny. And I'm kind of glad I didn't go with 34. Because a lot of people actually use that number. So. Nice. So Blip Plug is evolving right now. That's what hap is happening on my screen. Oh Jesus. That's better for Are me. You? You're, wait, you're behind hey. now. We have a dollar. I'll have to change that picture. I wasn't excited. I forgot that he... I, I haven't used him, so... I forgot the bug evolved so quick. Yeah, I already have all my 
my evolutions ready to go. Not that I'm going to get to get the Dragapult evolution. Because it goes over the maximum level we agreed on. <clears throat> but Drake Loke will definitely put in work, hopefully. And 43 is about to take the stand. 43 is about... Is that the number you pick? Yes, sir. Oh, this is, this is perfect, then. I know 69 and 420 would have probably been funnier, but I, I like I like to go with 43. I stick to what I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stick to what you know. Yeah. Eating ass. Eating ass. Eating ass. With the big spoon. With the big spoon. <laughs> Hey, all right, cat. Right, if you can't shut up, I'm gonna have to kick you out. My cat's not allowed in this room. I'm in the living room, so she's allowed here, I guess. That's the only place she's allowed. He's not. He's not. This is, we call this room the bud hole. The bud hole. Yeah, like <laughs> the bud. Like you're my bud. You're my buddy. Uh, the bud okay. hole. Yeah, the bud. <laughs> and it's also a place because it's butt hole. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, I guess your cat's not your bud. It's your pal. No, I let him come in here sometimes and walk around. He was in here this morning, but I don't really... Like, all the furniture is black. Oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm fur all over everything. I love him so much, and I wish that he wasn't so furry. Is it, like, white fur or gray fur? Um, He's orange and white. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. For black furniture, anyway. Right, yeah. Like, if he was black, I wouldn't care as much, but... Like, it's super... I don't know, have you ever... I mean, you did you watch the video? You said you watched the one with me and Halston. Yeah. In my last season. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, my room's super, super clean. Like, I'm super uh, anal about that kind of stuff. So my house is very clean. I don't I know if you can tell by the background. I think you got a theme going. You're anal, you have a butthole... And I love you more. <laughs> That's definitely a theme. That's definitely a theme. I should have worked that into my art. My promo. <laughs> Just a big old brown butthole in your in the background. <laughs> oh yeah, that would have been <laughs> distracting. That would, that would have been amazing. Yeah, amazing. But we'll say that. We'll call it that. <laughs> oh, amazing for most people. Everyone likes to eat ass, apparently. Yeah, everybody does. You're right. If you're not eating your girl's ass in 2020, somebody else is. Damn. I can tell you that right now. I need to ask my wife who's eating her ass then. Yep, you sure do. <laughs> Go figure it out. I'd be wondering. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. As long as I ain't got to do it. Ooh, I found uh, a silk scarf. Okay. I mean, to each their own, son. What is that called? Swingers? <laughs> Swingers? <laughs> Not if I don't know about yeah, it. I mean, I don't judge. Oh, man. I gotta fight Hop again. Yeah, I, I remember how terrible that is. Because he's... I mean, do you, do you like Hop? No. You think Hop is terrible? I think he's better than Hal. Barely, if he is. Hal was... Literally, Hop and Hal are just the same person. Hop's just a little more depressed. Notice they both have a three-letter name that starts with the letter H. Yeah, and they kind of look the same. That they do. They're both brown little annoying people. Well, their faces. They're just their faces. And then he's like, oh, you so you know match type ups. It's like, no shit, I'm playing Pokemon. Yeah, there should be. Do you remember uh, in Black 2 and White 2, they had the difficulty settings? Yeah. Did you ever play through the hard difficulty settings on those games? I never got a chance to, but I, I'm going to do it whenever I do my little self-challenge. Absolutely. Dude, I'm telling you, that shit is hard. You need, you have to breed a team and go into it with a bread team. Because I'm telling you, every trainer is EV trained. Like, they're super uh, strategic. It's, it's, like, it's truly difficult, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I was always the kind of person who was like, I just beat this game. I don't want to play it again. See, I just tried to leave without checking into the hotel because I'm not reading. Yeah, I did that. I was like, oh, wait, I got to check in. Oops. Not really reading. More talking. 
What, what nights are you off during the week then? Are you off on weekends or what? I honestly don't know my schedule yet. So that's always fun. I think it's going to differentiate because uh, my friend said right now they're doing like everyone works four days, 10 hour days, which is perfect for me because I'm like three days off. Fuck yeah. Yeah, nice. So I'll just have to see. Are you going to keep that job after COVID or are you, you said you couldn't go back to your job, didn't you? Like I your can't, job. Like they're not going to call me back, but I could go back. But right now. Even with things opening up, my friend told me uh, they're only going to hire one person back. And apparently, it sounds really stupid, and I wouldn't want to go back right now anyway. Because apparently, they have, like, one person running three routes. When it's hard enough, one person running one route. And then they have one person running, like, three, four routes. Yeah. And it's just like, that's retarded. Why would they do that? But, you know. uh, I'd imagine because our restaurants at full capacity where you live or? Even then though, it's just like, there's no point in having, because they, they also did it to where all the, bi all the big stops are on one day. So all the big stops for all the three routes that they're doing are on the same day. So it's not even spread out through the week. So, it they that company just doesn't know how to run anything, honestly. Mm -hmm. My job, I won't go back till August unless something gets better, like it, unless public gatherings start opening up and stuff. Jesus. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, this unemployment thing runs out on July thirty first, so if that's how it works, I'm fine. I mean, I'm doing just fine. How many months but, would that be though? Oh. Cause you stopped working before I did. I stopped working mid. It was March 18th is when I got laid off. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, you know, I love my job, so that sucked ass. But I can't wait to go back. I hope they said that it could. It's possible because they've opened our state back up too, and uh, for the most part. And uh, hopefully, it just doesn't get shitty. Yeah, that's all we gotta hope for. Yeah. We'll see. Who knows? I don't know. I think it's kind of pointless to do what they're doing, though. Because why, why risk everyone getting sick for, like, 20% of the people being able to go to the mall or to the movies or stuff like that? Like, who's really going to want to go anyway? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it, honestly. I don't have, <laughs> I have nothing to contribute. Yeah, I'm not political. I'm just like... I'm not either. That's why I don't want to talk about it. I have my opinions, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to disclose them. I think... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to stay home. I don't have to go out, so... If, if I don't have to go out, I'm not going to go out. And uh, if you have to go out, then good luck. So. Yeah. Wear a mask, wear gloves. Don't be stupid. Yeah, I did the same thing today. I typically do. I have a big bag of gloves, and I've got several masks. But today, I forgot the gloves, and I needed to go to the ATM. So I wrapped my finger in like receipts that I had in the car. <laughs> I had both in like wrapped in receipts. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. My my job had us selling gloves, and I kind of like took two boxes before I left. So I was like. I'm not gonna... Oh, yeah. I wish I'd have known that we were getting... Because like, I was told originally at the beginning of the week that I got laid off that we, it would be two weeks and then we they'd let us know what was going to happen. And I was also told that I wasn't going to get laid off because I'd be part of like the skeleton crew that they kept. Mm -hmm. And then three days later, they called us in and was like, okay, it's it's more drastic than we thought. Like more shows were canceled. So you're all laid off. And I was like, oh, damn. So I didn't know. But I would if I would have known... I'd have got some toilet paper or some shit. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was kind of messed up the way they did us because they didn't tell, they didn't have a meeting or anything about layoffs or nothing. Like we have RURs, which is uh, like people who fill in for people who get sick or something. Yeah. And then we have the RSRs who are like me who have our route every week and we do the same thing every week and. 
that's how we get paid based on what we make on that route and out of the blue they let go of all the jumpers which is the RURs and we're just like why they just let everyone go like that doesn't make any sense because we're still basically working be it lightly but we're still working and yeah. then after like three days they let go of a bunch of RSRs, people like me, who have been there a long time. Like, even then, I wasn't there for a long time. They let go of people who had been there for, like, 15, 20 years. Oh, it, wow. It didn't make no That's sense. Crazy. Well, yeah, my, I mean, my boss is really good, dude. I, I'll get my job back. It's just, like, they, they didn't do this wrong or anything. It's not, it was out of their control. Yeah. No, but my job didn't give no heads up, no nothing. They just, like, one day, oh, we got to talk to you. Yeah, we didn't get that. We got a heads up. We had two meetings before. We knew something was coming. But, again, I was told, like, I was pulled off to the side. Because my, there's my boss, then there's two bosses above him. And then my boss would pull me off to the side because he knows, like, I have the tendency to freak the fuck out. So he's yeah. like, just, you know, you're safe. It's like, you don't need to worry. I was like, cool. So I wasn't worried about it until they laid us off that day. I was like, fuck. It was, like, it was three days later. Out of nowhere. I was like, god damn, that sucks. But, I don't know, unemployment isn't bad right yeah. now. It was, I was only going to be getting like a thousand a month because the, the max in my state is 275. So yeah. if you get taxes taken, yeah, if you, if you get taxes taken out, it's 247. So I was only going to be making, I was going to be making less than a thousand a month. So it would have been me and, like, we would have been surviving on my girl's income. Yeah. And, uh, God, dude, it was going to suck, but it's not been so bad now. Well, that's good. I haven't even been switching Pokemon out. Nobody even knows what I've got. <laughs> I've, been, I've been trying to keep my team balanced. We're just talking. We're just talking. I'm on the, my score by me is 14, and everybody else is, like, 11. Uh, I'm grinding up. I have uh, two Pokemon at 14. Uh, and two Pokemon at 13, or three Pokemon at 13, and then one at 12. And that's my Dreepy, because I can't really use it. Dude, I'm just now noticing that Galarian Meowth's chin, or that's like a, is it a beer? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I'm cool with it then. It looked like a just a flappy-ass fucking chin. I was like, that, that's disgusting. No, like, it's like it's like its normal head, and then it just has a just beard on it. He's a Viking. See, half when I started building this team, it had like a Viking theme, like a like because I had a unicorn and like a a Viking and a, a like a knight was surfetched, and uh, I was gonna do Grim Snarl as like, but I, I strayed away from that. I wanted to have a starter. Yeah. Well, even then, he's kind of like a Peter Pan looking thing. You want to give up? Yes. No. Who's a Peter Pan looking thing? Who are you saying? <clears throat> Cinderace. Yeah, I get, yeah, but he's a soccer player. I, don't, I didn't <laughs> even play soccer. I, As a guy, I, I don't know shit about soccer. My son's trying to play soccer now, which is fine. You can play soccer. I support that, but I don't know anything about it. I wouldn't support my son playing soccer. Why? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm fine with him playing soccer. That's what he wants to do. But uh, I don't know shit about soccer. Like, literally, when we go to his game, I'm not going to have a fucking clue what's going on. I don't mind my kid playing soccer, but if he's one of those, oh, I'm hurt just to get a penalty, I'm going to be like, you're not playing no more. Oh, is that a thing in soccer? Yeah, that's the main thing of soccer. My main sport in high school is football. Same. So... He's too young to play football. He's only six, so he's too young to play football right That's now. That's a perfect time to play football. They're, they're well, I don't remember. Then I, I feel like I started at like eight or something. I mean, I, I started. I wasn't playing contact, like full contact at six. No, no, no. Uh, five, uh, four, five, and six are peewee. They play flag. And then... Oh, yeah. I'm not going to put him in flag. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do that. And I don't think he'd like it. I'm sure he would. Uh, is he a big boy? I mean, he's tall. He's very tall for his age. 
Well, if he has good weight, you can put him on the line. They get physical. Or if you just saw him to be physical, he could just be on the line. I don't know what good weight for his age is. I know he's tall for his age, but I don't know what good weight for his age would be. I mean, all those kids are tiny, so... I mean, defense... He could probably play, like, a defensive end or something, and he'd be able to learn how to pull flags. He'd be really good at that. Yeah. I'd, I'll ask him. I'd, he wants to play baseball. He really likes baseball. Oh, he wants to swim. Swim? swim? Yeah, and basketball. He wants to play basketball now. Oh, non-contact sports. I mean, I played basketball and baseball in high school. I tried out for basketball, but I had a broken wrist at the time, and I just wanted to play, but they didn't let me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I played soccer for, like, a half a season. I didn't enjoy it. I did track. My you did what? Track, because it was mandatory. It was mandatory at your high school to do track? Middle school and high school. They said if I wanted to play football, I had to run track. Because I was one of the only people who could do the mile. That makes no sense. That's bribery. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it sucked. But they're... That's illegal. <laughs> it doesn't even sound legal. And, and their, their point behind it was, oh, this is basically considered your off-season workout as well. So you have to do it. I mean, Damn, dude, that's cold. Yeah, I mean, granted, we, uh, my middle school was amazing. We won basketball, football, and track uh, for city champions. So. Oh, man. The only thing we couldn't win was soccer because our soccer team sucked. Even though we had a bunch of Mexicans on the team, we still couldn't do nothing. Oh, gosh. And before anyone gets offended, I'm Mexican. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Before anybody gets offended, Joe is Mexican. <laughs> On my channel specifically, before anybody gets offended, <laughs> Joe is fucking Mexican. I'm Shut fucking, up. Oh, yeah, I am fucking Mexican, but I'm yeah. also Mexican. Well, I know a lot of people who would not. <laughs> if you were white, they'd crucify you right now. <laughs> Oh, my Charmander just evolved. Oh, nice. You're all, what, really? Yeah. You're already at 16? Uh, he's my first level 16. Oh, wait, no. I have two level 16s. Bulbasaur is what evolving the... as well. I'm about, to, I'm about to enter the cave. I'm going to have to grind this. I'm going to have to grind this game in secret. Oh, that's secret. cheating. <laughs> yeah, that is, that, that is absolutely cheating. I'm going to have to do some cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm not gonna do any cheating. You'll you'll know. You'll have to watch my video. I'm gonna have to watch yours. I'm certainly gonna watch yours now that you're gonna be cheating. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Because I'll cheat. I'll fucking cheat. We're at twenty three minutes. Let's see if you can get to the rival in time. Well if I'm if we're in a battle we gotta finish. Until the battle's over. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, certainly. I'm battling uh, in the cave now. Collecting these items since I know you're so far behind. I'm walking up towards the cave. But I'm not level 16. Have you been grinding? No, I've just been battling the trainers. I don't battle wild Pokemon. It's a waste of time. I want battle items. I'm trying to get battle items. I already found the silk scarf. I don't that, have the silk scarf. That was in the city. Oh, fucking cool. Yeah, I also got paid. That's another thing, because if you take time to look, I'm going to start playing, and I'm going to start looking at what items are <laughs> and what routes and shit. I'm not playing. I'm going to beat you. Uh -huh, I don't think so. I fucking don't care what you think. You're a great Pokemon trainer, Morgan, but I don't you're think good. you're going to beat me. You're a great Pokemon trainer too, Joe. I really appreciate that. Gonna... You're like my, you're like my Pokemon dad because I I wasn't playing competitive before PML. <laughs> and you, you taught me everything I know, so you're like my Brock. No, I'm glad to hear that. Except, yeah, one day, oh, I've never been able I, to cook for you. I told my son today. I was like, I'm going upstairs to play. Pokemon with my friend. He was. We were just talking. I was like, "Yeah, I've never even met him." And he's like, "How are you friends with somebody I've never met, or you've never met?" 
I was like, it was meant to be, son. Oh, we'll He's meet. Gonna... We're definitely gonna meet somewhere. I know. I'll be making a trip to Tennessee now that I got a nice car. That nice is a nice car. car. I've never owned a brand new vehicle. Uh, my last vehicle was my first brand new vehicle. But it's not something I wanted. It's something I needed. Because it was the only vehicle I was approved for. And I just got into an accident due to a drunk driver hitting me on the way to work. Uh, yeah. I remember you saying that. Yeah. So it was just like... I need a car now, and I don't have the money up front to buy one cash. Well, my, I mean, my dad helped me with the money to get the first car. Shit. But I eventually paid him back. But I didn't have, he didn't want me to buy a used car. He was just like, buy something reliable. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to buy a new car, but it's fucking expensive. How much did you pay for yours? Um, I'm gonna end up paying twenty five thousand in six years. Twenty five is not bad. No. For a brand new car. And uh, normally it's five years, but since I was being uh, a dealer and trying to get a cheaper monthly price, they had to add an add an extra year. Oh, nice. So I got that I'm payment down from six sixty eight. To 575. My score bunny involved me, so 16 wasn't as far. I thought I was on a lot lower level. Damn, shiny score or shiny uh, grab boot looks pretty cool. Nice. Maybe I'll just throw EVO light on it and never evolve him into Cinderace. I would do that. <laughs> so yeah. I can win. Alright, I'm talking to that red headed chick in front of. Uh, Sonia. Yeah, about to go in. We're at, I'm at 27 minutes and 8 seconds on this. So yeah. we got 3 minutes left on episode 2. Let's see if I could fit this uh, rival battle in. We, oh should, uh, come, we should come up with topics to talk about next time. Which, which I mean, this one was excellent. It's probably way more interesting than my other videos because we're just, we're actually talking. <laughs> right? Right. We've just been talking bullshit. I mean, <laughs> no content bullshit. I mean, if people are going to be using it the way I use YouTube, uh, podcasting. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is definitely great if people want to actually hear about our lives, <laughs> which I doubt. Yeah, but... <laughs> you probably don't. It's very uninteresting. I've got a really cool background, Joe. Are you using camera on yours? Oh, no. I'm hideous. I don't like to be on camera. You're not hideous, motherfucker. <laughs> He's a very good looking man. Thank you. Um, you're Likewise. welcome. I have, I, today I went and got all the new Pokemon Pops. Do you collect Pops at all? So I got uh, like all the... I don't. I collect them... Um, you know those little uh, Roblox things that come in Pokeballs? And you can uh, build them. Like the, the Legos that you build with Pokeballs? Yeah. Uh, the Lego things? Yeah, dude, I have a bunch of those, too. I've got a whole shelf of those over here. I collect those. I have... One, two, three... Six, nine... I have eleven of them. So far. Fuck, I just did something. I don't know what I did. I replaced the move. I don't know what I did. That's bad. Um, but <laughs> I have... I've got Charizard, Scyther, and Chomp, Oddish, and Lucario. Alright, I wish I could get the big ones, but I don't ever have money whenever I want to get those. I'm about to get that Gyarados, that big-ass Gyarados. I just did something. I gotta fucking see what I did. I'm mean, using the last minute on the clock. I have... Who, what else could use Aerial Ace? Charmeleon can. No, I'm talking about on my team. Cinderace can. Cinderace? It could learn. It, it learns it through TM. I don't know about level up. Your bird learns aerial ace. Don't you have a bird? I don't remember what your team yeah, was. Yeah, I have a uh, farfetch. Yeah, I think that learns aerial ace. Yeah, but I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Darn it! I ain't gonna be able to finish the. I ain't gonna be able to get to the rival battle. Here. I'm like right in front of the cave, but I've stopped his oh my fucking uh Draco's old learned aerial ace. 
Oh, I'm in a battle, so you can keep going. I'll let you know when I'm done. Bro, you can keep going. Alright, that's not terrible, I guess. We can do Aerial Ace. What the fuck kind of move? Why would Drake as well learn Aerial Ace? I don't know, but it does. What? Why, why though? Like, what resistance or what weakness does that cover? Uh... What, what a strange move. I have no idea. That's a good question. No, it doesn't. It doesn't cover anything. Alright, I'm officially out of my battle. Oh, I just got in a battle, so... Alright, I'll keep going. I'm right at 30 minutes, though, so I, it's alright. I just won't go into a rival battle. Sounds good. I'm right in front of that cave, so... So so you're just you're still in oh, the cave, right? fudge. Yeah, I'm in the cage. I haven't beat the rival yet. Okay, I didn't get locked in. So it probably wasn't fair for me to use Drake as ult, but I had already had him when we discussed this. Oh, it's fine. I have a, I have a Pokemon that could deal with it. Oh, cool. Okay, well, because he's just fully evolved right now, so he hits like a truck already. True, but he doesn't have a choice band or anything, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when the you even find one yet. So I'm just standing here in front of the rival. I'm not going to interact with them. Alright, cool. I'm almost done with this battle. So, that might have been it, actually. Yeah, well, yeah, Morgan, this has been nothing. fun for sure. Yeah, dude. I, I enjoy it. We should uh, definitely finish this, make a point to have it finished. So I'm not moving and I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and save right here. Right, right exactly where I am. You do the same. I already did. <clears throat> All right. Well, it was good doing this with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to episode three. Um, appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys. So long, farewell, and enjoy the rest of your day.